Question three. Determine the maximum minimum values. Notice it doesn't say here determine the maximum minimum uh, turning points or stationary points because what you have here is you have this function which is obvious it's a positive cubic one it looks like this but there's a restricted domain you're only considering the part of it between 0 and 3 wherever they happen to be I'm not sure where these turning points are yet until I want them out it could well be for instance that 0 is here and 3 is there so when it says what's the maximum minimum values then what you have to consider is Maximum minimum values should occur at the boundaries. If you had a curve that was constantly increasing and you closed the window on it, the minimum and the maximum should happen at the boundaries, or maybe it's the other way around. The only thing that wouldn't happen would be if it took a turn in between. So strictly speaking, all you've got to do with this question is identify any turning points where it could exceed the boundaries, and then just compare all your answers. So you don't need to do a nature table. Not for this one. Well, strictly speaking, I can't vouch for how the SKU would mark it, but strictly speaking, mathematically, the nature of the turning points is unimportant if you're just wanting maximum minimum values. So it's just a case of, first of all, find out where they happen. So, differentiate it. 3x squared minus 4x minus 4. If there are any stationary points, that means that f dash dx would equal 0 then. That means that 3x squared minus 4x minus 4 should equal 0. So we'll have to find them, and let's hope they're nice ones. Let's hope it factorises again. So that'll be 3x and x. That'll be 2 and 2, wouldn't it? That'll give you a 6. So negative goes to the bigger, and that must be then a plus. So that I've got x equals negative 2 thirds produces a stationary point, and x equals 2 produces a stationary point. And what I'm saying here is, I don't think I need to make up a nature table to decide whether they are maximum or minimum turning points. All I need to do is find out their values. Well, you know anyway, you know what it's going to look like. Because it's a standard cubic one, so it's going to have a maximum at negative two thirds. I'll put a graph down here. You're going to have a maximum at negative two thirds, whatever it comes to, and a minimum at two. I'm not sure how it cuts yet, but let's just say it did that. You're going from zero to three, which means that this turning point is irrelevant because you're only wanting the maximum and minimum values in this window which means that they would either occur at the boundary or any turning point in between so x equals negative two thirds won't affect my answers I want the maximum values between 0 and 3 same for the minimum values since x equals negative two thirds is less than 0 that means you only need to consider x equals 0, x equals 2, and x equals 3. <coughs> so, just put them down and see how they fare. x equals 0 means f of 0 is going to be, surely I can just put down 6 without having to put all that big row of zeros down x equals 2 is the next contender, in you come, and that's going to be 2 cubed minus 2 times 2 squared minus 4 times 2 plus 6, and they're going to knock themselves out, put it down anyway, that's 8 minus 8 minus another 8 plus 6, so that comes in at, we've got negative 2, so so far that's the winner for the maximum, that's the winner for the minimum, still got to consider x equals 3, the last part at the boundary, f of 3, so that will be 3 cubed, put it into the formula, minus 2 times 3 squared, minus 4 times 3 plus 6, I've entered a note of space here, so I've got 27 minus 9 minus 18 minus a 12 plus a 6, so that's going to be minus 30, so that's minus 3, plus 3, plus 6, sorry, is 3, so there's my 3 values. I'll just remember away this quick wee sketch here. I'll just in indicate them first of all. So the things were at 0, the answer was 6. At 2, then the value was negative 2. And at 3, the value was, whoops, it was only 3. So there's our winner, 6, and there's our lowest, negative 2. Better make the statement though. So I'll just squeeze it over here. So the final answer to the question is this. The maximum value was 6 at x. Is that showing there? At x equals 0, 
The minimum value was negative 2 at x equals 2. There it is. Question 3.